Okay, let's do the word which now. Okay, this is actually a little bit complicated. The first thing we're going to look at is the CH, okay? Um, it's, it's one of the most common combinations we use, C, H. This doesn't actually look like an original CH. The H is kind of in here, but the reason that this one was invented is because TH was this. This actually is a TH, as you can see. The CH was simply reversed with an extra stroke added to it. Uh, that's one of the few artistic liberties taken in Descript. Otherwise, all of them will show the letters composite inside of each character. So, we're dealing with that for the CH. Let's put them together in the simplest possible way. Now, W, there's many ways to do a W. One is to do it like that, and one is to do it like that. The other, oh, and there's another. We can do it like that. It's best to keep them separate, the lines, when you do it that way, though. As you can see, the triple, the triple dash can also be connected into a double zigzag. So, we'll start with just this version, W-I-T. Now, C-H. We could also try using the real C-H, but that's hard to connect the C-H, the C to the T, as you can see, this is the C. The only way to do it would really be to close that connection there, or to put the T there and then connect the C off the bottom, or to use this version of the T and then connect the C off of there in some way. That's getting, we're, we're getting into too much detail there. Let's not even look at that because we're going to use this version of the CH. This is the easiest and the most aesthetically pleasing. Now, any double letter combinations we really need to know of here? Well, one of them, as we've talked about just now, is the IT. It is such a common word, and T has two versions. It has that kind of reversion. It can also be a reverse S curve. So S, T. T, S, sorry, T, S, and S, T. What we can do is, for the word it, we usually draw it like this. It's faster, it's one stroke, I, T. So we could use that T there and then just scooch that all up a bit. But I actually kind of like that T there. It keeps it even, and this would just, it's so symmetrical before we do that. So let's stick with the symmetry. We've got symmetry, let's keep it. Now, W, I, there's a special double letter combination. This is W, I. Why? What would happen if I connected those? W, I. Only at the beginning of a word, though. This only works at the beginning of the word. Otherwise, you're going to have to use just standard WIs. Now we've got the T, and we've got the CH. I really like this one. If we do it right, if we do it well, it can kind of look like an altar or something. Kind of looks like maybe the, an altar of some kind little satanic maybe, but I mean we're talking about a witch, so that's maybe up the right alley. Also kind of looks like somebody raising their arms, as you can see. This could maybe be some kind of a hooded head, and these are the arms with the hands. Um, maybe casting a spell or a curse, if you like. Anyways, there's the word witch, or my favorite version of it anyways.